We believe that this should not have been put up for referendum, that it exposes us to a potential national embarrassment if the referendum doesn't go the pro-choice way. We could very well see the UK Supreme Court overturning this archaic legislation for us. And, um, and it's something that we don't want. So despite the fact that we are um, wholly against a referendum, we will be putting out our message of um, encouraging people to vote for choice and that will happen as soon as the campaign kicks off of course. You say the Chief Minister's response to Vox's comments about Gibraltar is all about sabre rattling and testosterone. So does this mean that you don't support the government's action against the party? No, absolutely not. And I have said in Parliament, I personally as an MP and as party leader, we support wholly and fully the Chief Minister's actions, uh, legal action against the Vox. What we don't support is for the government and for the Chief Minister to put this message out uh, to public opinion to go on sensationalist programs and we're in a moment in history where we need to have as many partners to collaborate for the best post-Brexit um, package that we can find. So I think that we should have or we should leave it at the courts and we should not pursue a strategy of sensationalizing this issue which only benefits um, the, the party that Mr Picardo stands for. Fabian Picardo called for unity in his New Year's message while you accused the GSLP administration of spin and lies. Where can you find some middle ground? I believe that obviously on Brexit and international politics we need to stand together. Will you accept Fabian Picardo's offer to work together on the climate because during one of the election debates you said that you wouldn't? No, I never said that I wouldn't. It was a classic Mr Picardo spinning what I had said. What we're saying is what we said then was that people should choose parties and policies that have a strong environmental agenda. They believe in the environmental agenda, but of course we believe in cross-party collaboration. We believe in cross-party collaboration for as many things as possible because we believe that together we are stronger. You were the most voted opposition MP in the last election, gaining more votes than the leader of the opposition himself. Has that empowered you in any way? So, of course, I feel empowered, but empowered for the representation that I can bring to the table and for the fact that nobody can doubt the presence of a Together Gibraltar opposition um, party in Parliament, which now can do things that perhaps before would have been questioned by those who tried to belittle my, um, my position in Parliament.